It's welcome to the championship, John Dahl Thomason, who's going to be the new Blackburn Rovers manager. Thomason will be known to many an English football fan as that Danish attacker who arrived with very big expectations and flopped as a player for Newcastle United in the late 90s. But he's back as manager of Blackburn Rovers. Blackburn parted company with former manager Tony Mowbray at the end of last season, simply letting his contract run down and eventually expire. Mowbray had been with Rovers since 2017, although he couldn't stop them going down to League One at the end of his first season. He did bring them straight back, stabilised them in the Championship in those first three seasons there, finishing 15th, 11th and 15th again. Last year was his highest finish as Rovers finished 8th. Along the way, the former Borough boss helped develop star striker Adam Armstrong, who was sold for big money up to the Premier League, as well as current star player Ben Brereton Diaz. Although Mowbray leaves Rovers in a far better state than he found them, Blackburn fans have criticised their former manager as the team tended to drop during the second half of campaigns. Indeed, Blackburn last season were a genuine automatic promotion contender all the way up to February, really, before eventually falling short of even the playoff spots. So with that in mind, jean Dal Thomason joins a side with realistic playoff ambitions, but like all teams without parachute payments in the championship, one that has had to sell key assets each of the past few seasons. Before we take a look at Thomason's managerial career, do me a solid, hit like and support the video and the channel. Thomason has been working in management since 2013, starting off in the Netherlands where he had a great time as a player for Feyenoord. It was a bit of a whirlwind start. He stepped up from assistant manager at Excelsior to be their manager before quickly jumping, I think within about five months, to become Rhoda manager, where he also only lasted five months after they got relegated. He then went back to being an assistant at Vitesse for a year and was then assistant manager with his native Danish national team for the next four years. The best period in club management was the last two seasons. That was over in Sweden with Malmo. He joined there in 2020, won the title in both his seasons and they did have a good time in the Champions League as well. He stepped away last December with his stock at probably a career high. It feels like in championship terms, the Danes' arrival is vaguely similar to that of Shota Avalaza, who joined up at Hull during the past season, as in a pretty big-named foreign former player with experience in some fairly diverse leagues, countries and jobs. Now, I, like probably most of you watching, have very little knowledge of Malmo over the past couple of seasons, although a few of you may have seen them play in the Champions League, so I'm not going to weigh in on style of play. But look, obviously, managing Malmo, who are Sweden's most decorated team with 22 league titles, is going to be very different to managing Blackburn in the Championship with no parachute payments. He's probably going to have to be a mover and a shaker in the transfer market. Rovers have done all right in that regard. They've got Ben Brereton Diaz as the obvious big saleable asset, although they would lose a lot of quality and a lot of goals if he did go. Captain Dara Lenihan as well looks like he's off with his contract expired and talks really not developing anymore. He was linked with a move to Middlesbrough last week. So he could be building a team very quickly over at Ewood Park. Given that Mowbray had been there for a good old stint in championship management terms, um, adjusting to the madness that is the championship may be quite tricky. And my immediate guess, uh, prior to any business being done, is that eighth place next season might be a difficult one to replicate. That said, I'm not massively familiar with Thomason's work. And as is always the case, in the championship, if you can be competent and not do anything crazy, there's always a chance that you're going to be one of the better performing clubs in the division, as the likes of Huddersfield and Luton proved with their playoff finishes last season. Get involved down there in the comments and let me know how you see Jean Dahl Thomason's return to English football going at Blackburn. Are they going higher 
or lower than last season's eighth place finish under the Dane. If you want to see where Blackburn figured in the bigger picture in last season's championship story, then click right here for my full season review for 2021-22.